Hey guys, it's 7.17 in the morning. I'm driving to the Christiansburg Rec Center and I'm gonna attempt to walk 15 miles. I've never done this before, so I'm pretty excited. And uh, I've been watching a lot of walking and running videos online. So I kinda wanna see how far I can go uh, in one day. So let's see. What a better way to start a walk in the morning with some Chick-fil-A. Hey guys, we're starting the walk now at the Christian Kirk Rec Center. Um, <clears throat> I've had two maps I've looked at. One says 12 miles, one says 15. So we'll see how long it takes. Um, <clears throat> it is 7.42, I believe. The uh, sun is just coming up and it's about 36 degrees. We'll see, I layered up, so I have three different layers. Um, and then my shorts and and shoes, so we should be good. I got my Brooks on, so cool. All right, I'll take you guys along. We made it to one mile, and uh, you can still see it's freezing outside. It's under, under 36 degrees, so we're gonna keep going. guys we're probably a mile and a half in um it's going pretty good uh, i wish i had brought a beanie instead of the, this hat because my ears are cold um besides that uh i'm doing pretty good um it's reminding me a lot of when i used to walk overseas in rwanda i used to walk so much um everywhere up and down hills and it was a blast and i like it because it just gives you so much time to think so i really enjoy that so anyway we'll keep you updated Making our way. It's crazy, uh, it's crazy stuff that you drive by every single day that you don't really get to take a look at. And when you come out and just are able to walk it, it's really, really neat. You get to actually see it. Like when you drive back and forth to work every single day, but you don't get to see like what's on sides, you know what I mean, in the street or on the back trails or stuff like that, so. Uh, just a thought. Mile two. We made it to mile two. Second mile in, feeling good. Legs feel good. Ears still cold. Uh, probably 36 now, maybe 30, 37, 38, but still pretty cold. So. so many deer right here. There's another deer right here. And there's another one behind me as well. There's about four. Cool little canyon area, all the way up on the side. Hey guys, something very interesting I found. A sunscreen machine. I guess it's backwards for you in the video, but uh, I've never seen a place upstairs, I mean outside where you can get sunscreen from like, almost like a hand uh, sanitizer dispenser. Very interesting. <laughs> crazy this used to be a huge uh area where they'd put the coal and the tracks for the trains here it was all back over here beautiful leaves right now and where they used to get the train cars and fill them full of coal and bring them over and here's the the waterway here i missed it but two deer just ran in front of me over here all the way through it's pretty cool it's a beautiful area down here it, uh, it's crazy, you just kind of, the more you think, the more you think. <laughs> but uh, it's, I'm at mile four, feeling good. Um, I am just thankful, I guess. I keep on thinking about thankfulness. So I'm thankful that uh, I guess I get to walk this because so many people have so many, uh, physical um, items that could restrict them for this and I don't and 
I'm thankful for that and I'm blessed for that. that I can even walk this trail and that I can uh, kind of push through. I've been doing a burn boot camp for the last six months and um, so I've been working on my cardio and uh, I just wanted to challenge myself today with this this challenge so let's see how far we can go. Take a look at this wasp nest. Oh my gosh that's crazy happily uh, it's colder out in there. Um, hopefully not in there. <laughs> Beautiful out here. Got the cows and all the new babies. Beautiful day. Six miles in, doing good. I'm gonna meet Lizzie at the farmer's market this morning. We'll see you there. We're right next to a airport, Blacksburg Airport. Yep. Forgot to say today, today is a Virginia Tech game, so it's gonna be crazy here. Hokie Nation. Still walking. We are in front of the Hokie Stadium, Lane Stadium. And uh, it's crazy out here. I don't even see everybody, but I forgot it was a Hokie game today. I picked up a stole away. Honey decided to come with me. I met Lizzie at the farmer's market with Honey and uh, get some, burn some energy for her. So I said, let's do a couple miles with her. We're at mile eight now, doing pretty good. So, as you can see, I shaved my beard and stuff like that. So, it's been a couple days since the walk. Um, and I forgot to uh, record the last part, which was uh, kind of telling you how everything went. And how the walk went, how I felt, everything like that. So, I did zero training, absolutely zero training for this. Um, and in my mind, I went pretty far. 12.25, I think, miles um in about four and a half hours so we did that it was a big achievement i'm hoping for 20 miles next time uh, which will be very exciting um for the day after i finished my feet were killing me um it was actually like the same day and then i would say the second day was my calves my quads um and my legs were really hurting and it was interesting because on the third day it was really my core that hurt the most. Um, so I was uh, kind of going through everything. But again, I, I think I spoke in the video a little bit about it. I'm really thankful that I was able to do it. Um, I kind of showed myself that I could move forward and keep on going. And I'm excited for the next walk to see if I can get to 20 miles. Um, who knows? I may go 20.6, 26 miles um, for a marathon. But uh or 20.3.6 or something like that but we'll see um but anyway uh yeah i just wanted to give you guys an update and let you know how everything ended uh that day it was really nice i ended with walking with honey and um the last four miles so yeah all right well i'm gonna uh see you guys later and until the next one thanks bye